Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the how to coordinate architecture file with the other discipline. Today I will show you on the practice. Here is the real building which already under the construct but in this building I will use like an example how you could coordinate two different discipline in one model. If you are ready for that I'm starting the topic how you can work with the architecture and the other discipline and we will start from the coordinate. The next tutorial will be how to find the collision between two this model. Stay tuned but we are right now starting. As you can already see I have the two files I will close it right now because we no need it right now so I will close it I not will save anything because we will do it a bit later on and we will open the other file I already have the some special file which is calling the coordinate so let me I will, I will show you and as you can see here is the coordination file actually coordination file it's empty file with only the axis with only with the grids this is real grids and as you can see inside this is grids already have the project base point and here is the uh, survey point too so I just orientate how it should be looks like but this file empty if you will go to the 3d you will see here is nothing nothing only the two levels and only the grids why I need this file you can find on the my previous tutorials about the coordination files you will find the link below this video just open up and watch it why we need this file but now I will show you how we will use it as you know we have already these grids we have uh, this the same grids for the all the discipline for the architecture and for the engineer and constructor we have the same grids too so it makes our life much easiest let me I will unhide everything so and let me load first my architecture here we will go to the manage here we will find the manage links and here we will add our tutorial files and we add our architecture it's here be sure your position it's under the by sharing coordinates we wanna coordinate it by uh, coordinates yes let me use that and let's say okay you should uh, wait uh, if your file really big it will takes time if if it's not it not will takes a lot of the time okay here we are here is our file as you can see and let me I will say okay and as you can see here is my grids from the my linked file and as you can see it's not right direction first it's not on the same position the second it's not on same angle before I will do something let me I will change the position for the my file because I want to show you something else let me I will show you the hidden elements the thing what is not right in our linked file as you can see our mm, base point or project base point not on the grids it's the first thing you should speak with your for example um, colleagues who working on the other discipline and say our base project point should be placed on the grid a mm, a1 for example and they saying okay we will place our the uh, points on this grids and as you can see my colleagues already did wrong because their points it's not even on the grids and not on the a1 till uh, and 1.6 we should first change this point to this position how we can do that as you understand first we should go inside to this file let me I will open my architecture here is the my architecture yes I'll write existing because this is a sharing file I'm not alone working in this file and that's why I will overwrite it if you're using the local copies you not will see this message okay let me wait till it open so here is my architecture file and what I need I need only the some level where I can see the my grids so let me I will open any file which I want here is the from the my but we don't care about that let me I will go inside and here is our grids let me I will see what's going on on the height and here is my point as you can see it's not right direction so what we're gonna do I will just change the position of this point I will select this point and I will move it on this intersection it's it's not so easily because it's pretty same position but it's not so I'm placing somewhere here and after that I will place it here let's wait it okay and let's place it again from this point to this intersection okay we did it as you can see everything all right uh, let me I will unhide it back and let me I will save everything because this is my uh, this is model is sharing I'm not saving I'm synchronizing but if as I said your model local you should save it
Let me, I will close everything. I don't need architecture right now. And I can straight away clo just close. It. I will go back now to the my model. As you can see, it doesn't change anything. Why it doesn't change? We linked our file and linked didn't update yet. You have two ways to update, uh, two ways to update your linked file. First, you should synchronize your model. This is local. I cannot synchronize. So second way, just overwrite your managed links actually reload the last thing you can close the coordination file and open it when you will open all the links automatically will update okay we will go to the uh, manage links and we will do that, that manually just select your uh, Revit file and just reload it let me will wait now you can say it's nothing changed but we, we, we will say okay and now you can see changes so now our architecture did everything right we have the grids we have the our base point on the right grids position but still coordinate it's not same but it's okay we are bi managers we can do it by ourselves but let's say this is will be only one time we will align it let's align grid number 1.6 with grid number 1.6 that's why it's really matter to use same grids for the whole disciplines even if you need the, some special you should create some same uh, same grids maybe only two grids but that grids will be for all disciplines same let me I will align it and as you can see now we have aligned the second thing we should align 1.a 1a and 1a now we have right direction now we have right coordination and now when i will save it as you can see nothing changed how we can transfer now this coordinate to the existing file if you should go to the manage here you will find the coordinates and publish your coordinates click on that and select and let's select our existing file let's say okay again as you can see nothing changed of course it's nothing will change because it's already changed the position but something's going on let me will save it again and this is what i want now revit asking us do we want save new changes new position for our existing file and as you can see tower one architecture but our file is coordination so now revit automatically will transfer our new coordinate to this architect architecture is this existing file and that's why he asking do we want to save it yes of course we want to save it that's why we're doing all these things i will save it now to just check it and to just show you like is it working or no i will just will delete i will remove it architecture from this file as you can see now we don't have any architecture file even i will save it so we saved we don't have any architecture file inside and let's reload it again and now you will see it will it will place on the same position i will choose my architecture as you can see and don't forget after by shared coordinates because now we are using the same coordinates let's say okay let's open it it will take a bit of time same position same angle i mean the same rotation as you can see and we don't need to change anything and let's see and the base point is same let's do the same thing now with the uh with the ventilation and you will see it's working with just with this file you need just one coordination file just like a lego taking the all the disciplines and trying to align it by by the grids in file coordination so let me i will open now the ventilation file let me i will do the same thing i will load it first waste my ventilation ventilation is here and i will use already by shared coordinates let's me let me open up it's not so big like an architecture but it's pretty uh pretty huge enough let me also say okay and now you will see it's also not on the same position even i cannot see where is that it's not it even the here if i will go to the 3d i will see it. let me I will go to the 3d and as you can see here is the my engineer part the problem is now we don't have first we don't have the grids inside this file uh, on the right position and as you can see it's rotating not on the same uh same direction maybe i will try to find this file we cannot see it right right uh but we have here the one magic thing like a site let me I will open the site and now i can see my engineer part as you can see 
this one i can see the grids and as you can see it's not on the right direction and as you can see the base point it's not also not on the same position here is the my 1a here is the my 1.6 and the point it's somewhere somewhere far from the grid as you understand we need go back inside to the our file to the our ventilation let me we'll go to the our, our file inside let me open up uh, because this is model already the local one we should uh, unload it from uh, our coordination file so, yeah so I think you know already about all these things if you don't let me know below the comments I will try to explain you later on so here is the my file as you can see here is the my ventilation and I need only just some plan doesn't matter which one let me I will open the maybe this one here is the my plan and let me will go inside I mean I want to see what's going on um, and uh, with the hidden objects and let me I will select this uh, base point and I will place it on the right direction okay it's here if you're not sure just check the grids let me I will see 1a and 1.6 so everything all right now I will save my file as you can see everything same all the things we're doing the same now I can close the file uh, but as you can see now we cannot see our ventilation because it was reloaded I mean the, it was unloaded as you can see here it's not loaded we need just reloaded done let me I'll say okay here is the my file here is my base point as you can see on the right direction and let me I will do the same thing we will just align it let's align 1a with the 1a we're done with that and now we should align 1.6 with 1.6 and now one thing we should now share it coordinates with the our ventilation file but we have here now a lot of the Revit files we can do some mistakes for don't do there any mistakes I will go first to the manage links and I will unload architecture because we don't need it right now I will not will remove I just will unload it let me I will unload it now we have only the one shared files and now we can easily just publish coordinate for this file let me I will uh, publish our co um, current coordinates now I will just save it once you will try to save it Revit again asking you do you wanna transfer the new position for the link file we say okay now we will back our we will back our architecture let me I will reload it and I will say okay let me I will say okay and now we will go to the 3d just visual checking is it everything right or no and now we will go to the 3d now as you can see in 3d we have two different heights between the our engineer part and our architecture part we should um, we should align it for that one we need elevation or section view but before we will go to the elevation and section we should go to the our level zero or to the our plan and we should arrange our project north as you can see our true north is correct let me I will change now the uh, true north to the project north uh, you can do it in window here we will change to the project north and what you can see it's totally same like a true north here under the position inside the manage you will find a lot of different thing how you can manage it but we need only one we need to rotate our project north let me go again to the position and select rotate project north here we will choose the align by line our line will be grid as you can see it was rotated and you need only the say yes we wanna uh, rotate it uh, here the, under the warning message you will find it and just click on OK and that's it now it's time to create our section view let me I will create the some section view it will help us to arrange our levels between two these files I will just a bit uh, extend my view and I will go inside to this section view now we opened our section view and as you can see here is the my architecture part and my engineer part and as you can see levels is different here is 141 meter this is level 25 and here is my level 25 on the other level just use a line 
and let's align it by architecture part. I will align 135 level and the second 135 level and it automatically will change. Now Revit asking us do we wanna save new coordination? Yes, we can straight away just save it right now and Revit auto automatically will uh, send the new coordination to the ventilation or engineer part. So now you need only the save coordination file, close it and everything will be alright the uh, all the disciplines can work without any problem. In 3D you can see directly everything now lays on the roof, you know, nothing is flying, nothing is uh, intersection or you don't have any problem, visual any problem. If you are interested in this tutorial, I will continue work with the other disciplines and we continue working with the um, between architecture part and the other parts with engineer and the next tutorial I will select my ventilation part and uh, architecture and we will try find collision between two these files by Navis work. Don't forget if you are interested in that leave the comment below this video and that's it for today thank you guys for watching and see you next time.